All right, welcome back, guys. Automotive Inquiries here. So um, this is part two of the navigation um, fix, if you will. Um, so uh, it did work, and it took forever. So if you take this to the dealer, and they said they did it in 30 minutes. Maybe they did, but maybe they have the world's fastest uh, Uvo system in their in the Telluride. I don't know. Uh, but uh, this, uh, the one, it has one of five updates that you download from the site, and I'll put the link in there, and I'll just do a quick little video, part three, of when you go to the site, how to do it. So it took about an hour to put it onto the thumb drive, and again, you're going to need a at least 30, 28 to 30 plus gigabyte thumb drive to put it onto that and then to bring it to the car. So your car has plenty of memory in it um, to do the update and it did fix it um, and it did change it. So I'll show you here in just a second. So um, you're going to at least need that thumb drive and some time and uh, uh, to download it. And like I said, it took roughly an hour to put it on the thumb drive on my HP laptop um, and, uh, and then it took an hour to do the first of five updates in the car. So after that, we pulled it in the garage. You don't need a uh, satellite or anything like that. And we just left it in this mode. So we clicked it, uh, twice and I just didn't start it. Don't put your phone on the brake. Uh, the first, the one of five I actually did, um, put it in the uh i had it running in the driveway but then we had to go do some running it was taking forever so after one of five it didn't really change anything so i pulled it in the garage and just double clicked it like this now uh this is what your system is going to look like which is what we were kind of afraid of initially um, so your home screen is going to be this and at the end it's going to give you a QR code You can scan with your phone or you can read it on this screen So if you remember it used to have the three little boxes and then you had your widgets and stuff So this is your new look after you do the update. The good thing is it does work Now I wanted to say that after the first dealer said it did the update and it really didn't do anything I called uh, i25 Kia Ehrlich Kia and want to give a shout out to that guy because he did say that the operating systems uh, have, have changed. So basically this, this initial one is uh, Uvo, which Kia no longer has um, licensing agreements with uh, from him. Um, and now it's called Kia Access. So the entire system needed to change to this because this is the way it's going to be now. So we haven't played with this to see how it changed it, but you can kind of see how everybody is complaining that most of the screen is just this, this like, fuzzy snowy looking thing and then you have a little piece of the map which the map is still accurate that is accurate instead of having your weather forecast up there you get your current weather your location and what it's doing snow sunny whatever yesterday was sunny it was snowy and like i said this update probably took roughly two and a half hours and your battery will have enough uh retaining it if you leave it in that without running but if you're going to leave it running obviously keep your garage door open and don't sit in it because uh, that should go without saying that that's bad for you uh, right here you're going to have your time your date and everything like that so now if we click this uh, it'll bring up your radio so you can see the radio change now to the tubes and stuff like that that's really infinitesimal to us we really didn't care about that but we did like having the, the forecast and everything else up there which was nice. So now if we go home, uh, you can see the icons have all changed to purple and like white, but you still have everything that you wanted to here. Everything's still the same there. You still have your users. Um, so now if we click map, map is still the same. Now, uh, you can go in here now and search like you used to be able to. So now it brings up the stuff like we used to. So you can search. It'll still bring up the maps and everything. So now we're back without a Uvo Connect or Kia Access uh, subscription. We are back and able to use it. Now, that being said, we haven't changed any of the settings in here for voice recognition and whatnot. But you still do have your microphone, so you can say whatever you want. It does find all the old addresses. So let's see if we go back here to map. And uh, I think she's going to have to go in here and retrain her favorites. 
um, but it does have everything before. Now, before we did this update, it's my understanding that uh, to get the better like searches and stuff, you're still gonna have to have a subscription. So if you wanted, I don't know, for it to find, you know, you want to say gas prices and this and that, this will still do that. However, for through your voice recognition, it even says that it's gonna need the uh, the better um, subscription. But this is fine because this is factory navigation, so we're good there. So. Um, when you come into this, the screen layouts and stuff, like I said, you're just going to have to play with it now at this point and see how configurable it is. But what I can tell you is if you go into your general and, uh, you'll see this before it's all orange and black. Now it's all purple and black. Um, and then you can see right here, updated on 1231 2021 standard class gen 5 navigation so when you go into the website and like i said i'll i'll, I'll show it to you uh, in a quick video um you can go pick by your vin or you can pick by your year so make sure you get the right year so if you're having problems with the 2020 uh sorry a 2020 telluride or a 21 make sure you pick the correct year now if it just gives you 2221 in your range then that's fine this the website i'm going to show you actually covers many hyundai many kia uh, models so if you're having the same issue because you had an older system that was a uvo not a kia access this should fix your problem um but uh, this video is obviously specifically for the kia tell you right so once you were to go into here, so after it does the one of five updates and it's still going to look exactly the same as it used to, it's going to have the three icons um, and everything like that. Nothing will be purple yet. Um, you're going to go back into here and you're going to hit update and it'll say uh, the update will still uh, happen. Um, if you're not going to use the car for a while, hit this button. I hit that button because we weren't going to use the car for a little bit. I, I don't know if it sped it up or whatever. So, uh, so when you come in, you're going to put your thumb drive down in this little... USB port, the same one you plug your mass media drive into. Um, it'll automatically bring it up. Uh, you'll go into the, the general, hit update, and it'll do the 105. Now, maybe if my thumb drive was slow, whatever, but it, it just took a while. So if you if you took this to the dealer and they, oh, we fixed it in half hour, I don't know how they could possibly do that because the update had to overwrite the whole system. So um, I, I don't know how they could do it any faster, but um, if it didn't change it to this purple outline then it did not do the update and your maps and stuff will still not work um but you can always go back to that website and uh if stuff stops working and maybe they patched in a new update um so but that's how it will be so again it's fine uh we're just happy to have you know our navigation back up so i think it still does yeah so it still does your save places and stuff but you're going to have to just play with it um, and see how you can configure the screen. But don't be surprised if uh, it looks like this um, and that's kind of how it is. It still kind of gives you all the information. Uh, it's just different and it does seem like some of the screens, to, most of the screens actually wasted by this purple snow. Uh, but maybe you can configure it. Uh, but this was more of, hey... You can fix the navigation. No, you don't need the subscription. Yes, it's gonna take some time. Yes, you need your own tools. And no, you don't have to take it to the dealer. So again, thanks to uh, I-25 Kia, Ehrlich Kia for uh, you know telling me that I could go to this website and try that before we did any of the other things. But hitting the little reset, it's not gonna change anything. Going and doing a factory reset on the screen is not gonna do anything. Kia no longer has an agreement with Uvo, so the Uvo map system will not work unless it was just a previously saved address so you got to change to this if you don't want that and you just want to use your apple carplay because you love your old screen then do not do the update because you can't go back once it's like this so hopefully this helps guys drive safe out there if you like the video like it again the the link will be in the bottom of this video in the description however the uh i will do a short little video on where we're going uh in part three and it'll take like two minutes to just kind of show you and uh and everything so thanks again for watching and congrats on uh helping find out the uh, way to fix this bad boy so take care